What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, well, you saw that thumbnail. Let's go get in the rammer. And let's go see and check out Pops' new toys and see why, uh, why he really bought it. But he wanted me to bring the ram. I think he's a little worried about the Denali towing uh, this kind of stuff. Well, because, I, I don't know, he said he towed uh, the trailer with the tractor on it. And he said the ride was really, really rough, like it was bouncing a lot. So we'll see. We'll get his opinion. Let's go ahead over there. Let's let this uh, old rammer girl over here warm up real quick. Alright, and for you guys that keep asking me about fuel mileage in this thing, I don't know, I've never really tested it with the 37s, but it says 15.6 right now. Now I have known and heard from a lot of people that these 3500, the high outputs, do not get uh, good gas mileage. So if you're looking for a gram, you know, uh, that puts out good fuel mileage, I would not get a high output. I would get, you know, the regular one, the 2500 and you'll probably get better fuel mileage. But, uh, you know, again, I didn't really buy this for fuel mileage. Mileage, I want. I bought it for towing and I wanted all the power. So, as of right now, it's just, it's 15.6. So, that's what the 37's with the tune. Don't know if that's good, don't know if that's bad, but I knew, know, do know this baby can pull. So, uh, you know, it all depends on what you guys want. If you're happy with the 25, just a regular one, get that. I heard it's, you know, way better fuel mileage. All right, guys, let's see Pops' new toy. So, he got, one toy got delivered this morning at the house, and we're going to head to downtown to pick up the uh, other uh, toy and see uh, what that is. Let's find out. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, yeah, Popsville did a little uh, landscape in here. Ripped all the grass out, put some turf. Oh, he's got the Denali hooked up to, I don't know whose trailer that is or where he got that from. Turf looks very nice, I wanna say. Very clean. All right, guys, let's go see oh, one of the new toys. We gotta figure out how to move it because we gotta get that trailer out of here. Oh, wow, 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 look what he bought. So it looks like Pops bought a Cat 279C2 two-speed with some nice tracks. Oh man, this thing's nice. All right, well, he told me go down here, move it, hook that trailer up, move that but let's see how to start this thing oh no i think i've never been in one of these things before you know all blue uh all blue is a little uh a little old so it's a little easier okay yeah i feel like i'm driving a jet over here all right so where's the keys any guys know how to start this thing okay we got a key here so i would assume okay let's have a glow plug all right we got a little glow plug indicator all right they're like a seat belt thing maybe okay we got a pedal here this is gonna be fun you guys are enjoying me trying to figure out how to start this thing okay so that's probably like a little safety you got to put down there uh okay well i guess let's see what happens okay it's a good sign all right what do we got here what's don't know what that is. What is this? Not sure what that is. Okay, obviously throttle. Get a little. Oh, uh, this is to shoot. When you get locked on, fire. When you hit that. Got some buttons here. Oh, another one. This is, I think, for. Oh, uh, so yeah. This. So this right here is for when you have missile lock. So when you have missile lock and you, you know, you drive in and you see like, you know, well, whatever is bothering you. And that releases the uh, missile from the outside. Okay, I gotta figure this out, guys. Uh, I'm sure there's some of you construction people laughing, but you know, I've never been to one of these before. There's a lot of buttons on this thing. All right, guys, we finally figured it out. It was a parking brake. Uh, it took me a while to find the parking brake, uh, but I finally got it, so now we gotta hook this trailer up and uh, go pick up some more stuff. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to unhook the Denali. Oh, because Pops is worried about too much tongue weight on this thing and having no airbags and all this. So this trailer here weighs 5,000 pounds. We're gonna put Old Blue, I think she's probably five, 6,000 pounds, and a scissor lift back there. Uh, Pops bought a couple of those. 
and uh, we're gonna take one to the house and he's worried about tongue weight I'm curious to know how much you know these trucks let's start it up real quick do a little cold start Woo! curious to know how much uh, this thing I want to go under it can you know pull uh, with this being uh, like tongue weight wise as in if it's going to be too much tongue weight, you know what it can pull without distribution bars. Actually, I'm going to peek under there when I move this trailer. I'm curious. I want to see real quick. All right, guys. So Pops unhooked the trailer, hooked it up to the ram. He's a little worried about tongue weight and all this. I just want to see. I'm curious to see under here if it says. Cause I know my Denali did. I don't see nothing there. Uh, no. So my Denali had like a sticker, and it said it. I don't know. This doesn't. So. Well, we got it hooked up to the rammer. We're gonna put all blue and the uh, uh, the uh, the thing that lifts. I forgot what it's called. On top of it. All right, guys. We have arrived here at Pops's warehouse, and uh, we, we what? I'm doing the vlog. Do you want to vlog instead of me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it to you when I get done. So we just got to Pops's uh, office here. Um, these are he bought two scissor lifts. Um, we're gonna take one to my house. So we can help the guys use it for the garage. We're gonna load it on the trailer, take this home, and then um, uh, we're gonna take one of the or take the cat and then uh, use that. Also, he wants to get a service though. All right, scissor lift is on. Next stop, Alpine. Let's go. Here's the warehouse right here, where all the inventory stays. All right, guys, we got it loaded up. We got all blue back. We got the scissor lift. Uh, coming with us and the cat the tractor is going down there it's gonna get some service done and we're gonna take that to the house and uh, play with that thing try it out see what it can do but uh, right now I don't know we're just uh, we got to pick up some more attachments pops about a bunch of attachments for that thing I'm looking for an attachment uh, for that I want to get an attachment for the forks to pretty much dump the bucket and get like a forklift use this forklift uh, to move stuff around I'm gonna try like I said to move my trailer around with it and uh, see how it goes. Bam, guys, we brought her home. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. But, you know, I mean, this is why I need that garage down. I can't, I can like go under here. Oh, I gotta come through here. Ugh, all right. So, uh, I gotta say, you know, I've already used this. The garage guy loves it. He's been using it to paint and go up and down on the garage. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm mainly going to use this thing most likely and probably the majority of the time to cleaning the roof on top of this thing because trying to get a ladder and walk up and then bring the pressure washer, it's just a pain in the butt, which it'll be a lot easier bringing this thing because you could just drive on it. It goes up, I believe, 19 feet. Yeah, that's what that, the 19, so it's 19 and it goes up 19 feet on the platform. I think they said when I was looking online doing some research. Uh, you'll be a total of 25 feet up, but the height is 19 feet and it's 30 inches wide. It's hydraulic. It's got uh, four six volt batteries in it. We're charging right now. Your little indicator is going to be right there. Bam! So it's showing it's full. It's green. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna redo this thing. Get some new stickers. You know, get some paint it nice and blue. Uh, clean it up. Uh, you know, make it make it look nice and presentable. But another thing why I'm really going to be uh, liking this because I've been trying to change that light up there forever and clean that, that like rustiness right there. And I just don't have a ladder, you know, big enough. This door is 14 feet, so I don't have a 14 foot ladder. And this is going to be a lot easier. And what's nice also is it's got a 110 outlet right there. So what you do is you could just put the pressure, or not the pressure washer, you could put whatever is, uh, you know, you need to have power. Plug it in there, and you got power right there with you. And yes, we got old blue back from Pops' house. He's done with it. Uh, well, because Pops bought a cat, that tractor that you saw me in the beginning of the video trying to turn on. Um, but what I want to try to do with that cat tractor is I want to get some forks, and I want to see if it can move this thing or get a forklift. I don't know. I haven't decided yet which one you know is going to work better because what I want to try to do with this is instead of having to go down there, you know, back and do all this, is I want to try to pull straight with the truck unhook and take the forklift or the tractor and maneuver it in here you know in the driveway the driveway is big enough and pretty much maneuver it and back it right in the garage that's what we're going to try to do depending on which uh equipment works with it oh this makes it easy to change this light right here that's been working oh this is nice it's a little warm up here but it's nice 
but I like how this thing's a little shaky, but it's okay, we'll get used to that. Well, there you have it, guys. We're going to uh, now head to Pops' house, um, do a little swim, go relax. But stay tuned for the next vlog. We're actually tomorrow taking uh, the boat out, and uh, we're going to head to the lake. So you guys will finally get a lake vlog. I know you keep asking me about lake vlogs. I just don't go to the lake, guys. I, I'm not much of a river person, nor am I a, a boat person. So that's why you get like maybe one, two lake vlogs uh, a year. Uh, but I'll try to get more lake vlogs for you guys, but you know you will have one so stay tuned for that video But thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned. We got some more cool equipment coming I can't wait to try them out uh, Just you know play with them have some fun with them But if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button don't click subscribe. Peace Yeah